Like the, the food that I like that a lot of people don't. I thought I had covered that one. I don't know, did I tell you that I like fried? The following contains adult themes, coarse language, and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion and desire is advised. I know, but like, no, no, my, my go live notification is Lucy has mentioned you in chat. Oh, that's so rude. <laughs> it's so funny, though. It, it, it must generate clicks. It does. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Pepsi Man just got bamboozled by it. Oh, it's just funny. Because it, it makes you more likely to click the notification because you want to know what people chat about you. Yeah, I'm actually tempted to start doing that myself. I stole it from a friend of mine who's not a VTuber. He's a League of Legends streamer. Oh, a flesh tuber, eh? Yeah. A really big, not really big one, but like, you know. Like, he's mainly a YouTuber, I think, though. I think he has 100k on YouTube. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's we awesome. are talking about like it. Yeah. I actually met him because he was the only person. I don't know how much you know about League, but he was the only person back then that actually played the champion. Uh, which um, champion? Silas. Oh, okay. And, I know the and, name, but I didn't play League enough to really know all the different characters. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, Udyr no. and Evelyn. Another streamer, Pepsi Man, knows has to go live notification. You've been gifted a sub. Oh my god. Damn, that's a pretty good, that's some pretty good stuff. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. Just something that makes people actually curious. Something specific, personally targeted. I mean, counts technically as manipulation, but like manipulation isn't a bad thing sometimes. Yeah, like it has such, it, it's, it's click a negative. Bait. It has That's a, all it really it has is. Yeah, manipulation is just like making someone do something they wouldn't have done otherwise. So, like, if you ask someone to go with you to the cinema and they wouldn't have done it by themselves, you manipulated into them into going. Technically, because they wouldn't have gone if you hadn't asked. Yeah, I think it's, it's more of malicious Manip manipulation if it's something that they would generally. Uh, Genu generally would not want to do normally. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's what I mean. Uh, yeah. Manipulation doesn't manipulation doesn't have to be negative. Yeah, it I mean, a very negative it's just thing, kind of uh, a general force that often gets roped in with toxic mindsets. Yeah, no. Uh, manipulation usually gets used only for the negative. But to yeah, manipulate usually. something is just to change it. Manipulate is a synonym for changing. Yeah, we manipulate our keyboards to type. It's, exactly. It's all about the context. Yeah. Huh. But yeah, welcome in everybody. Welcome to the stream. I see you all want to learn more about me. That's good to hear. Because... The reason why I do these kinds of collabs is to get to know the streamers. Aw, sweet. I've had plenty of great conversations so far, and given our pre-ramble before stream, we're going to get along quite well. I typically get along with people. You and me both. That's like the only skill I have. Yeah, Which I is haven't. The negative. I haven't really come across very many people, even IRL, that I just didn't get along with. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I've just had a very easy time to get to know people and build a bond with them. It's a very powerful ability. It really is. I don't have a lot of other talents. I mean, like, I have no artistic talents. I'm not funny. But I do know how to make people like me, which is very useful. Especially in our line of work. Especially in my actual work. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Oh, my God, it's Jay. Uh, hi, Jay. 
My cousin Jay's dropping by. Nice. Wait, is he is he in your stream as well? No, I'm watching your chat as well. I've got ah. both our chats in my OBS. Oh ah, yeah. Cuz I love showcasing um streamers interacting with their communities. Mhm. Mm Jay's a Jay's one of my moderators. Whom I've manipulated into becoming a VTuber. Again, not a bad, not the bad kind of manipulation. I just made him interested in the topic. Yeah, I've done some of that good manipulation too. Getting some, pushing some people to start getting into it. It's cool. But yeah, no, I, I mean. Oh, it's Koba as well. Hi, Koba. Damn, the full mod squad is here. Oh wow! Get, a get Ace and um, Coffee in here as well. We need the full squad. Ah, yeah, totally got manipulated. Totally wasn't already interested already. Well, I mean, <laughs> totally. Come you know on. what I mean, Jay. You know what I mean, honey. So, would you want to start getting into the questions? Yeah, I was just going to say that. Alrighty, you want to give ahead. you want to give yourself a bit of an intro to the audience. Sure, sure, sure. Name, uh, my name pronouns, is... that kind of thing. Yeah, sure. Uh, you bumped me over the last internal. Yes, that's what I did, and I'm proud of it. Uh, <laughs> my name is Lucifer Lucy Lightbringer. I'm a horror streamer, though. To be quite honest, recently I opted more into the variety streamer category. Uh, which, which I'm fine with. I love interacting with people and often play games with my community on and off stream. My personality, I'd, com uh, I'd kind of call myself a lootsome streamer. So I'm partly lewd, but like mainly wholesome. Which is why my podcast is marked as, my broadcast is marked as mature audiences only. Um, and yeah, I advocate for a positive community. And that is why I, uh, what I strive to build for myself. The reason I interact as much with people as I do is because I want to build a proper community and not a following. Um, I have interacted with most of my followers personally, and I do love them all to bits. And I'd rather have a lovely community and a small one than a huge toxic following. And I welcome everybody to my community as long as they respect each other's boundaries. And my pronouns are she, her. Mainly wholesome. Leave me alone, Jay. I'm mainly wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm myself fairly lewd, but I am quite wholesome as well. I do label yeah. myself a supporter. That's why. That's why I would like. Uh, that's why I like the um, term lewdsome. Me too. Because that kind of does. Because I still advocate for very positive interaction basis for everybody. Mm -hmm. But I won't, I won't mind making loot jokes on stream or on my Twitter account, which has recently became a NSFW account, I guess. Yeah, I originally made two separate accounts, one for non-safe for work, one safe for work. And then yeah, I just I started being too I, horny I just, on me. Yeah, I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't care about that. I couldn't I help tried it. to do that. Now I've just got my like, VTuber and IRL. Oh, yeah, I don't have an IRL Twitter. I don't use social media IRL because it wouldn't work with my line of work. That's why I actually became a VTuber instead of a FlashTuber. Oh, I was going to ask, I, what inspired you to get into or to start making content? Well, to co making content I streamed before as a FlashTuber. But I got into too public of a job to continue streaming. As a flash tuber, so I kind of opted. So I actually quit streaming completely until I started being a VTuber on behalf of a friend who dragged me into the community. Okay. And the reason I started creating content is exactly that meeting new people and advocating for a positive community online. With how much toxicity circles the internet, I wanted to create a safe haven for everyone who wants or needs one. That is really all I wanted to do. Flash tubing is the creepiest way to use it. Is that actually the lingo? It's actually the lingo I use. It's the lingo I now use because I like the word. <laughs> it's spreading. Uh, 
So how long have you been making content? Uh, I started streaming generally in January as a flash tuber, but then I quit in like March. And I started VTubing in August. Okay. So you started like a little bit later than me, but essentially did the same thing. Uh, seems like it. Uh, do you yeah. only do streaming on Twitch or do you do other things? Uh, I mainly currently stream on Twitch and obviously have my Twitter account. I do try to branch out to YouTube for VODs or like special made videos. Um, but yeah, that's it. TikTok accounts and stuff for clips eventually. It's just that I work quite a lot and I haven't figured out how to manage my time yet. Fair enough. It very much helps uh, streamers when anybody can just clip a little segment for you. Because yeah. any clip can be potential TikTok content. You hear yeah, that, TikTok chat? isn't too difficult. I like TikTok because it's literally just that. You just clip moments in your stream and upload it to TikTok with minimal editing. But actual VOD editing for YouTube takes too long and I don't have the time. I oh, know yeah, video that's... editing to a degree, but I just don't have the time. Yeah, I don't do much editing at all. I basically fade in and out from black, add a stinger, and find a uh, a little clip from inside the VOD to throw at the beginning to get people's attention. And that's what honestly it. I'm so lazy. Fair enough. What I am going to say is, if I'll ever be able to like swap to full-time streaming... I will take more care of my social media because at that point I have more time. Oh, 100%, currently, yeah. Currently I work like 50 hours a week for my normal job, 50, 50, 50. hours, something like that. Um, yeah. And then I stream on a daily basis, or at least mainly, ba uh, mainly daily. Um, I try to do it schedule. daily, it's just... Yeah, exactly. So I really have no time to edit at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, I typically work a 40-hour work week. There's just a mm -hmm. supply shortage, so I've got a lot of free time to spend on networking yeah, and all my content and stuff. Yeah, currently it's way better because it's summer and people are just in, on holiday, so I can't do much. I don't have a lot of work currently. But as soon as, as, soon as main season comes around again, as soon as people don't travel around anymore, I'm going to have a lot more work to do. It's just how it is. Yeah, I gotta wait till, like, fall-ish. Yeah, that, um, I'm gonna assume that September is gonna be a really busy month and, like, September until July. So, really, the only month that I have proper of is, like, mid-July and, like, the fall of August, because that's, like, the main summer months. And the other okay. months are, like, super busy. What's something you wish you were taught when you first got into content creation? Um, just how open most people are to collabing or interacting with you. Like most, see, people yeah. most people love to chat. They're just scared of taking the first step. And in, in August alone, I have DM'd with over 300 people over on Twitter. And outside oh, of that, geez. like, yeah, I have like 300 people in my Twitter DMs. And there's only a few, like, genuinely handful, like, four or five that I regret messaging. That's and the other ones are good really, track really record. lovely. It is. Like, most people are lovely. Honestly, just, yeah. Even just, people that have there been... Isn't, hmm? There isn't a lot of toxic people on the internet. It's just that those toxic people are super loud. Yeah, like, they're one, a very loud you, minority. Like, wholesome people make, like, one post. And, like, toxic people make a thousand. So, like, of course, you're going to get flooded with the toxic ones. Mm -hmm. Also, because negativity spreads easier. If I tell someone they're nice, they're going to not mention it that much. But if I tell someone, if I call someone a bad word or something, it's going to spread. It's just being mean is louder. It's not more frequent. And that is something that I think would help a lot of people to know. Yeah, that really would. How do you like to spend your free time not working on content? Uh, typically I just hang out with friends. I'm a very social person and I do believe that it's, it shows. 
Um, and the more I interact with people, the more I learn about things that I would be incapable of ever experiencing myself. And at the end of the day, I believe that this has made me a better person. Uh, so I will just tell you um, that making all these new experiences may be scary at first, but it is definitely a worthwhile experience. And it does help you in your life if you see life from angles you couldn't see it yourself. Yeah, it really does. Is there a kind of content you wanted to make or see, but feel like it's too niche? Uh, not really, because not to make content I not to make content I like just because it wouldn't gather a following, or because it's too niche is not really an option to me, because I don't really care about how well my content performs. I care about what it's doing and what message I'm spreading. And I want to meet people that are like-minded to me, people with the same interests, people with the same mindset as me. So I'd rather play a game that nobody other than five people like, but those five people actually resonate with me. That is why I have such a, such a tight community, because I don't just stream for clout, I stream for community building. I want to meet new people that are like me, that I actually vibe with. And that is why I would never make content I don't want to do, because I would just meet people that like the fake me. And I don't like being fake. Yeah, I get that. You don't want yes. people to really attach their idea of who you are to the kind of character you're playing. Yeah, I mean, I get why people, like, obviously, if it's your full-time job, you have to listen to the cloud. And you have to do it to a degree. To a so, degree, you do gotta yeah. play into uh, what, what your audience want. wants. And then Unless what you're... Like, you're what you want, yeah. as well as what you think could expand your reach. It's a balancing act exactly. between all that stuff. Exactly. So I, I'm not hating on people that do it. It's, it's if people need to live off of it, it makes sense. Or if people want to one day live off of it, they have to do it. I'm not hating on anyone that does it. I'm just saying that would take the fun out of it for me. Oh, yeah, I totally get that. Uh, what's the biggest project you've got working on? Um, that's actually really, that's one that I'm really hyped for. Um, oh, it's yeah? the trailer, it's the trailer for my debut for, as, uh, Life 2D. Oh, VTuber. nice. Um, and obviously I'm working on the trailer, the channel trailer and the stream itself. Um, I did receive my 2D model recently. Um, but I want the first one to be something memorable to me and everyone. Okay. And... I just don't want it to be a 0815 stream that I do every day. And I have not yet really made up my mind on what exactly I want to do. So, you know, I'm just going to vibe and like listen to people, talk to people from my community what they would want. I've already gotten a couple of great ideas that I'm going to incorporate. And yeah, I haven't even set a date yet. So yeah, it's just in the back of my mind, currently working towards it. But hey, if you're interested, you may follow me on Twitter and Twitch because I will reveal the information as soon as I got something. It's September now, and you yes. first started in January, right? You could mm -hmm. do your live 2D, uh, live 2D debut for your anniversary. Yeah, but that would be a bit of a lot. Like, you mean my... Wait, you mean monthly anniversary or yearly? Yearly. But, yeah, but I already have the model and everything. I wouldn't just do it for like, I wouldn't just have it lying around for 10 months now. <laughs> I'm also, that's, I don't really, fair. The, date, the date isn't really that the issue. Uh, I'm just thinking about what I want to do. As soon as I have the content and everything prepared for it, I can have the, the, the date for it. I'm pretty sure it's still going to happen this year. Uh, I'm just going to have to brainstorm a bit more. But yeah, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. I'm, I have a fairly creative community. Yeah, it sounds like that's what you've been building up, and that's honestly the better way to grow as a creator, establishing that community that'll help bring in more people, make them feel more welcome, and they'll stick around. Oh, Chira Sings, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Oh, hi, Abomina. Realizing I haven't followed you. By the way, Abomina is the person that got me into streaming. Oh, yeah. Literally just, fo literally just followed me. 
<laughs> I've, I've lurked somebody in my Discord server for a week before I realized I wasn't following him. Yeah, I've known Abomina for a year. I felt so bad about that. Nah, I love her. I love her. <clears throat> Lovely person. If you could collaborate with any content creator, who would it be? Uh, actually, that is not a question I really know how to answer um, <laughs> because I'm fairly new to this community. So I don't really know a lot of VTubers. I've collabed with like a ton of VTubers that I really, really liked. So all of those are welcome to collab with me again. And, you know, typically I just chat with people a bit in DMs. Oh, hi, Lohan. Um, and I just vibe with people in DMs, and if, if I vibe with them, I usually am re ready to collab with them. I really don't care about their following either. As I said, I want to meet people that are like me and not people with big followings. If anyone is watching this and they want to collab with me, just join my Discord or hit me up on Twitter, and we can chat and let's see if we work together, and that's fine. But if I really had to put down a name, I would Probably say Mummy Mortem. Oh, yeah? Like, yeah, because from what I've seen from them, they seem to have a mindset very similar to mine. And I, I lurk their streams sometimes, and I don't know, I can't really say much other than I really, really enjoy interacting with them. Yeah, he's got very chill streams, actually. Oh my god, thank you for the $50 donation to the travel Holy project. shit, Shiro. Shiro, that is so sweet. Uh, yeah, because I'm That's fundraising. Amazing. Yeah, I'm fundraising for the Trevor Project. I don't know if you know it. I it's am like, aware of it. It's a very yeah. good cause to donate to. Yeah, and that is why I've set my channel to be for this specifically. So if anybody in my chat is able to donate, throw some money towards that. That's a very yeah. good project to actually throw money towards. Exactly. And yeah, ever since that... Uh, feature came out on Twitch. I just enabled it and then never disabled it. I'd rather have people donate money towards the Trevor project than donating it directly to me. Money is really not something I'm struggling with, so... Yeah. Well, I'm actually glad to hear that, that you don't really need to rely on any sort of tips or anything. Yeah, I have my job, which pays honestly too well. And it does so, yeah. sound like you want to keep your uh, job separate from your streaming, so we're not really going to go into detail with that. Exactly. Um, uh, yeah. Where do you want to see yourself in five years? Uh, in five years, I would like to be a full-time streamer at some point, just because I want to keep building and expanding on this community and to give people the safe space they sometimes need. And I want to give them as much attention as possible. Uh, I truly think that meeting some of them has made me into a better person, some of my community. Most of my friends I've met actually through streaming or playing games. Yeah, and same it, here. Has helped me, it has helped me get to a better spot in my life regarding mental health and just uh, even my depression. I don't have depression anymore, which is great. It's like I, I would have never gotten there by myself. And I really just want to spread this love as far as I can. And I know I can never erase negativity. I know negativity is as much an aspect of life as anything else. And, and it's not my goal to erase negativity or like to forbid people to be negative at times because it's a part of life. Um, if you have negative emotions, you shouldn't like suppress them. You can live them out, but there's positive outlets to live them out. Mm -hmm. And I think that my community has really managed to lift each other up. And that is something I want to grant everybody. Like a safe haven where they can refuel their strength before heading out and facing the harsher aspects of life again. I'm glad to the hear there's another community similar to mine out there. And actually, there's quite a few. That's one of the better yeah, no, things about VTubers. It's not just VTubing, though. As I said, most people are lovely. It's just the toxic ones are louder. Yeah, that's true. That is genuinely how I, how I perceive life. If you, even in my real life, 99% of the people I interact with are nice. It's just you're going to remember that 1% harder. 
because our brains are wired to remember negative things more likely because it is just it's necessary for survival yeah we have an instinctual negativity bias so a lot yeah, of the time people overlook the good parts yeah because it's it was necessary for survival if you ate a berry and you had like diarrhea for three months straight you had to remember that <laughs> yeah it's like a fact and evolution is a very slow process so that's gonna stick for the next hundreds of thousands of years. Yeah, it's going to take quite a while to work that stuff out. The good thing is that humans are conscious, so we can actively work against it if we know it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, now that I pointed it out, remember that. <laughs> Would you say you have a favorite music genre? Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah? Yeah, I'm an absolute metal fan. Like, I'm a heavy metal enjoyer. Oh, awesome. What are some of your favorite bands? Um, I like Disturbed, for example. Good uh, choice. Battle Beast, is Battle Beast is really cool. They are? Um, I like League of Legends Pentakill. They are so good. Yeah, and, you know, just a lot of random ones I find at times. That's good to know. We have similar tastes in music, too. Pentakill, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Pentakill is phenomenal. Hell yeah. My favorite is Death by or Grasp by them. Uh, nope. Mine is uh, Infinity Edge. Ah, that's a good one. And Bloodthirst, not those two. Mm -hmm. Pentakill was actually my most listened to band 2021 on Spotify. <laughs> really? Yeah. My, I think mine was Hailstorm. Nope. Mine was definitely Pentakill, because when Pentakill 3, the album came out, I listened to that nonstop. Yeah, that's totally like, fair. I actually can't back then, back then, I still worked a production line job. Oh, yeah, so like music I, 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 really sorry, helps so with I, those. So I, just had, so I just had my headset in, my headphone in, and I just blasted... Heavy. I blast the pentakill for like five months straight, eight hours a day. Yeah, I work that kind of job too, so when I get music, I take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I don't work a job like that anymore. And I'm glad you don't either. I want more people to get out of those jobs that don't want to be in those jobs. Yeah, they're like nice jobs to get a quick buck. And if you don't care about how fulfilling a job is, it's a good job. All of my family members work a job like that. And it's fine. It's just not fulfilling to me. And the, you know, each their own. Yeah, I'm the same way. Uh, uh, yeah. What song would be played endlessly on loop in your personal hell? Uh, probably All I Want for Christmas. <laughs> you want to like, tell, huh? I'm, no. No? no. No, I'm, um, I'm a project manager. Hmm. I, uh, I met, was asking if you had worked retail previously, because usually when uh, people tell me that, they, it's because they've worked in retail or malls. Uh, no, I worked retail when I was like a lot like, younger, like next to college I had a retail job. Mm. But nope, it's not the reason, it's just, I don't know, I don't like the song, and it just blasts everywhere. It's just overexposure, I think. I don't think it's a bad song, I just think it's overexposure. Fair enough. And the opposite, in my personal heaven, the song that I would always play would be Never Gonna Give You Up. It's honestly, unironic one of my favorite songs. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, like, a, it's actually it's, a good song. It's a really good song. Like, every time I get Rickrolled, I listen to the full thing, because it's, a, it's genuinely one of my favorite songs. It's so good. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Rickroll me. Do it. I've actually got it in my Spotify playlist, too. It's a really good song. It is. Uh, I never got... I don't understand the meme with Rickrolling. Can we stop Maria... Uh, Maria... What is her name? I forgot her name. Can we Can we start um, All I Want for Christmasing People? Mariah Because Carey? that is an annoying song. Yeah, Mariah Carrying People. Mariah <laughs> Carey Rolling People. That is annoying. But Rick Rowling, that's a positive thing. 
<laughs> Let's be Rickroll. Actually, everybody in my chat, go down to my About Me and click on the image. Click on the image link. Do it. That's because that's a Rickroll. <laughs> nice. Because I, I genuinely like the song. Um, what skill has taken you the longest to improve? Do any of my people skills? I used to be a super introverted person. Um, on behalf of depression and other factors in my life, I just used to not want to interact with people. And really? honestly, I really, I really love being more open to people. Yeah, I can very much relate to that. I was very introverted when I, or before I came out as trans, and then mm -hmm. now post transition, like, or most of the way through it, anyways. Four years later, I'm like super extroverted, always trying to get into VCs, always trying to talk to people. Yeah. I mean, that is, that just means I was never really an introverted person. It just means that my, Mental health didn't allow me to live my extroverted life. Yeah, that's actually Which is, a good way to look at it, huh? Because intro because so there is people that are happy that are introverted. It's not a bad thing to be introverted. Yeah, like my spouse. But I was I was introverted because of my mental health. Because I wasn't able to bring up the energy to talk to people. And now that I have gotten into a better place. I just love interacting with people. I just love chatting with as many people as I can. And I'm happy for everyone I've met so far. And I really hope that I can get to meet more people, more like-minded people, even people that are not like-minded. I don't mind having a disagreement with a person and I don't like arguing as long as it's civil and both people go out of the discussion having learned something. You don't have to debate to win. Like, you can't debate your point without trying to change the other person's mind. Mm -hmm. If you debate to teach someone, they go out of the experience knowing something they haven't. Even if it doesn't change their mind, they're going to look at it more critically. And I think it's very toxic to always want to win a debate. A debate isn't a fight. You don't have to win a debate. Yeah, you don't have not to win always. an argument. You don't have to win a fight. You can just state your point and be respectfully, like respectfully agreeing. Or respectfully disagreeing, depending on the situation. Yeah, just respectfully agreeing to disagree. Yeah, as long as people can leave it to respect opinions. Hey, yo, coffee, oh. Alex, with the $1 donation. Oh, another donation towards Trevor Project. Nice. Let's go. Oh, Shiro had asked, what was the opinion on pineapple on pizza? Oh, uh, indifferent. I say Shiro, it's the best topping. I'll is... die on that hill. I don't care. Uh, if it's on it, I'll eat it. I don't hate it, but I'm never going to order it because it doesn't do enough for me to use it. Oh, totally fair. It's just my favorite kind of pizza. I don't dislike it, but I prefer... But the reason I wouldn't order is... Another one is like, I like spicy pizza. And that doesn't work together. You can't no, have a spicy pizza enough. with pineapple that doesn't work. And outside of that, even... Like, I'll eat it if it's on it. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> what? It's so good. It's my favorite, too. <laughs> Abomina. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I think I just made a new best friend. Uh... Yeah. Uh, what? I, I, think, I, I think... Didn't... Abomina, didn't you tweet about this today or yesterday? I do not enjoy... I do enjoy pineapple on pizza, but I'm not always in the mood for it. That's also fair. That is fair. Because it makes it more of a sweet, a sweet food, I guess, and, like, you're not always in the mood for that. I do like my it's, sweets. It's... Yeah, it's probably similar to how I really, really like tea. But I'm just sometimes not in the mood to, like, make a tea. <laughs> mm, yeah, I get that. I'm not an explorative with food is the thing. I eat what I like and nothing else. That is fair. Pineapple pizza is an abomination. <laughs> oh, God, no, the debate is starting. <laughs> oh, we fighting. 
Mark in the out here to throw hands. Oh my god, Shiro with another 750 donation to the Trevor Project. Oh, Shiro. Oh my god, thank nice, you all so nice. much. You see the, the goal? 69, 69. Yeah. <laughs> it was supposed to be 6 point. No, the 69 wouldn't have worked. Because then we wouldn't be to 69, 69. <laughs> I'm ready to throw hats. <laughs> Oh god, it's happening. It's starting. Hey, coffee, it's you starting. better get <laughs> coffee, you better get ready to actually moderate for once. <laughs> Wait, your mods actually do stuff? What the hell? No. <laughs> Mine don't even show up. Um uh, no, what? my moderators do stuff, but like I don't have really yeah, a but... need for them. I don't have a need for them sometimes because most of the people I interact with are lovely. I've only had like a couple of weird people in chat so far. I don't get paid to do stuff. Shut up, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you get paid in exposure. Uh, you get paid in getting to speak to me. <laughs> that seems fair. Uh, anyway, I interrupted you. What did you want to say, Dali? Uh, what topic could you talk about the most? Um... Communication. Communication. There is like... communication. The process of communication, the principle of communication. There's just so much to communi communication people do not consider. Like, obviously, there's verbal communication, nonverbal communication, but it goes way, way, way deeper than that. There is what we try to communicate and what we actually communicate. So, how people interpret what we communicate. Mm -hmm. Words, because essentially words are nothing more than media used to transfer thoughts from one person to another. And depending on how different minds translate those words, sentences, and so on can be completely different. Like they, can, they can interpret completely different meanings in what you say. This can be on behalf of missing context, misunderstanding, or even emotional overloadedness. And I do believe that understanding how to properly and clearly communicate and to understand the process of communication is beneficial to everybody because we communicate in some way or another like all of us do. Like on a day-to-day -day basis, we communicate. And learning to master this specific skill is very helpful in both private and professional sense. It really like, is in basically every single career. Exactly, because we all communicate. Human are social creatures. We communicate on a daily basis. So learning what you communicate with certain poses and whatever, like there's a general rule for that. But it goes further than that. Like every person is their own based on the past experiences, ways to interpret certain things. Like words that are completely normal to you might be insulting to other people on behalf of their experiences. Mm -hmm. Like calling someone an idiot, I do that jokingly. But someone who got bullied for being quote-unquote an idiot in the past will take that word offensively so learning those minor uh, minor details for each person is very important if you want to have a healthy relationship and respecting how one person interprets certain things like if a person tells you they don't like that word because of their past or like even if they don't give you a reason if someone tells you i don't like that word even if it's a normal word to you don't use that word when you talk to that person because yeah, there has to be a reason they don't like it Gotta and read that the room. Is basic, that is basic fundamental of communication. It really and yeah, is. no, I can and yeah, no, I could go on about this for like a year. So I'm not gonna. I did ask what was the topic you could talk about the most. I Yeah, but you didn't made ask the mistake me to talk of about it the most. <laughs> well, I'm actually so, yeah. not, I'm actually glad to hear how enthusiastic you are about the topic. I actually just love listening to people who get enthusiastic about their favorite things doesn't really mofo is a bad word that's funny um i just love listening to people enthuse about what they really care about it helps highlight who they are and it's interesting yeah mm -hmm. uh i just know how to talk it's it's i think it's quite obvious that i'm fairly verbose and able to communicate what I want to communicate. And I'm not shy to say it's the only skill I have. Like, it's the only really thing, the only real thing that I'm good at. Talking. Talking and listening. Those are two skills that I have. 
And I'm not not ashamed that I'm not good at anything else, and I'm not... You know, I don't think it's a bad thing. Like, everybody has talents, and even if it's something very niche, be proud of what you're good at, because everybody's good at something. Even if it's not something you get admired for. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Uh, communication and getting along with others are skills that people in general, kind of lack. I'm or at least the they lack the... I don't really like saying this, but they lack the confidence to really um, put themselves out there and get to know others. Communication isn't taught. No, school it's teach, not. School doesn't teach you communication. Which is, difficult, which, which is weird. Because everybody communicates. We communicate in school. Please go ahead and teach how to communicate in school. Please. Oh, bye, it's, memes. How's it going? <laughs> it's like people or the teachers or whoever just expect people to or expect the kids to just pick up the communication part of it just because they're in public schooling. But honestly, it is a little more than that. You can't exactly teach communication, but you can guide people. Everybody communicates differently. I don't think we need to teach specifically like one right way to communicate because I've elaborated on that and I'm not going to go mm -hmm. into the full thing again. It's and just everybody like everybody, is everybody, everybody communicates differently. It's just like mm -hmm. being aware of the fact that everybody communicates differently helps. And, yeah, I and think it's, it's just a matter of about. getting used to the person you're talking to and how exactly. they prefer to communicate. Communication is a double-edged sword. It's like the listening part and the speaking part, or like the non-verbal communicating part. Communicating part. Mm -hmm. And listening is something you have to do if you want to communicate with a person properly. Because yeah. you have to understand their side to commune yours better. <laughs> I'm glad I got communication classes back when I was a kid. That's rare. That is but it's rare. Good. I'm really happy to hear that you have gotten them. Same is true for critical thinking? Yep. Sadly, that's true too. Yeah. That is very true. Critical thinking is something that we're not taught because of how binary our school system is. Our school system is very dependent on a yes-no factor. Yeah, there's a few too many binaries in our society. Um, I have a skill that I'm decent at, so I don't always come out as the best person. Um, I don't think that that has to be the same thing. You can be good at arguing and still be liked. I argue everything. Like, you can ask Jay if he's still in call. Probably not. You can ask Coffee, who is still in chat. Like, I will argue everything because I want to know everything. I'm a very critical person. I want to know everything that there is to know, and I'll inquire about everything. I'm a very direct person, and I, if you tell me something that I don't understand, I will ask you to elaborate on it until I understand it. And I argue quite a lot. Arguing is a very useful skill. It is a very useful skill. Um, I personally do like uh, political arguments, but I don't go out of my way to start those. Fair enough, yeah. But yeah. Mature relationships are easy. Decision-making is hard for me. <laughs> Mood. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, who's the most interesting person you have met or interacted with? Uh, like in general or like specifically online? Uh, if you've got an interesting story about IRL that you're willing to share, I'd love to hear it. Or if you want to just talk about some online interaction. Well, online I've met a couple of cool people that I really, really enjoy. Um, Abominable for one. Lover. Lover to bits. Um, Jay is one of my best friends, but there's nothing like, if I really have to say the most interesting person I've ever met, like genuinely the most, that would be my German professor from college. Oh yeah? Like, the man had a way with words, like, it's, it's ridiculous. He was the most professional, wise, and intelligent person that I've ever met, but he never showed any form of pride or prejudice. Um, to me, he's just one of the greatest people I've ever met, and I strive to be like him. 
despite having reached one of the highest academic degrees because he had he had a doctorate in in communication or something, I don't remember. He oh, never really? flexed it on anyone. He never told anyone. The only reason we knew is because in our yearbook it said doctor. Like we, he never told anyone about it. Huh. He, wa you know, he wasn't proud or anything. He was just nice. He was very intelligent, very professional, but kind. He, he genuinely tried to teach people. And he never viewed people of low academic level as inferior. That's why we never noticed he was a doctor. And I just think he's a truly remarkable man and one we can all view as a good example and role model. Well, I'm glad to hear that you've had such an amazing teacher. And it seems like they've had a bit of an impact, or they have had quite the impact on you. Oh yeah, most likely. Definitely. God, I love him. <laughs> uh, what does your ideal breakfast include? Uh, during the week, just a coffee and a quick snack. I do not have time to prepare breakfast. Ideal, I, I, not I, I, average. Like, what if you could have yeah, anything? Yeah, yeah. What would you want? I was just gonna go into that. Um, okay, sorry. Pancakes, and you know, just pancakes with like jam or whatever. Just a sweet pancakes with fruit, whatever. Like raspberries and pancake with a bit of whipped cream sounds absolutely phenomenal. Those and, are so good. Yeah, I typically like on the weekends. I usually go out of my way. To actually go to go to a cafe or whatever and actually order me some pancakes. That is something I treat myself to like basically every weekend. Oh, well, that's good. It's important to treat yourself. Oh, excuse uh, me. We talking we talking chunky as U.S. pancakes or the Dutch branch pancakes? Pancake uh, girls unite. The Dutch ones. I don't like the chunky as U.S. ones. I do like the McDonald's ones, taste-wise, but I do think they're too thick. I don't like the thickness of them. Even though I like girls thick, I don't like pancakes thick. Anyway, what do you want to ask? <laughs> um, if you could have lucid dreams, what would they be about? I actually do have lucid dreams quite a lot. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I just so don't. You... I, just, I just usually use them to chill or hang out with people. But the thing is, because my hobbies, the things that I want to do most, are talking to people and playing video games, lucid dreaming doesn't really have an appeal to me. Because those things seem super fake in, in dreams. Because you control what the other person says. Yeah, so that would like, just, just be you talking to you. Yeah, but, or like me talking to what I want them to tell me. It's very fake. Playing video games doesn't work in dreams either because of how physics work in dreams. Even in lucid dreams, physics work differently. I would Time think works so. Differently. Everything works differently. So even then, video games are just fake. And again, you control what happens in the game. So the appeal to video games is to, is to challenge yourself. And if you control the challenge level, is it a challenge? No, I don't know, lucid really, dream, no. Lucid, lucid dreaming to me is just not really appealing. But having <clears throat> random ass dreams where like, you like wake up at 3 a.m. and you like question life for the next five years, those are funny. Like, that's funny. That, that is funny. Like, for the last 20 years, I've always wondered, why did I have that nightmare about the giant bee in the apartment? Yeah, no, those dreams are super funny. Like, some dreams are just hilarious. Mm-hmm. And lucid dreams are just more of a... Like, if you want to do something specific, like fly across the world, or, like, you know, do stuff like that, sure, go ahead, that's cool. It's just not an appeal to me. Yeah, that's fair. Everyone's different. Mm -hmm. uh, what story has had the biggest impact on you? To be quite honest, uh, you're talking about, like, fictional stories, right? Uh, like it can be a book, it can be a mm -hmm. cartoon yeah. series, anime, yeah. whatever you mm -hmm. like. I enjoy stories as a medium of entertainment, but I hardly ever consider my reconsider my life depending on them. They are work of fiction and I view them as such. And whilst many try to imitate life, none of them really come close. And honestly, none of them do justice to actual life. Um, like the randomness and unfairness that life 
gifts to us that is not a like you're not able to imitate that in a in an appealing book. And happy endings are not just given out as they are in books. They require hard work and realistic assessment of reality. You can't just compare yourself to a main character and believe that like your life should be the same because that character has the story written for them. It's not a fair it's not fair to put yourself against that benchmark. And I don't think one should try to live up to a fiction story. And you can take general ideas from it, sure. But at the end of the day, I believe it's better to like listen to yourself. Get impacted by your own opinions and beliefs. Be the best version of yourself and not a second grade version of some anime protagonist. Like no one is a better yours no one is better at being yourself than yourself. True. And you're great in the way you are, and you deserve to be happy no matter what other people tell you, and no matter how many anime stories revolve around a boy super who's super powerful or like super cool or like super popular. You don't need to be any of that. You need you just if you just are the way you want to be, that's fine. You don't have to have a word showing how good you are because you're good the way you are. I definitely agree there. Is there anything on your mind you feel should have more attention brought to it? Uh, just, I would just circle back to what I said before. Um, just that people are in general, open to communicating with another. And that people want to actually meet new people, it's just that many of them are scared, or many issues actually arise from miscommunication. So I think we just need to bring more attention to the fact that we need to communicate properly with each other. Yeah. Communication is just such an important aspect of life, especially how easy it is made now through the internet. Oh, 100%. Like, like a lot of people jump on the internet and write stuff, but they don't really try to communicate their thoughts. They just write whatever jumps out of their head at the moment without trying to actually communicate proper what they mean. And I think that just leads to a lot of fighting because they don't take the time to communicate. And I could talk about this for ages, as I've said before. Please just take the time and think about how you say it and how the other person interprets will interpret it. Yeah, uh, not a lot of people actually take the time to consider their words, think about what they're about to say kind of thing. That's interesting. The only thing I believe in that sense is that I won't accept that people are born to be something. People can choose their path no matter the skills. Yeah, exactly. Be who you want to be. Don't be who someone tells you to be. Yep. Like, I just because your favorite anime protagonist is like the best sword fighter in the universe, you don't have to be like him. You don't have to try and like get really good at sword fighting. You can enjoy the story as a medium, as storytelling, as entertainment, but you don't have to be like that person. You don't have to imitate them. If you want to be the best surfer in the universe, go for it. But don't do it for the sake of doing it. Do it because you want to do it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to communicate. Yeah, that's just reminding me of a quote that's stuck by me for, oh, what, 20 years now? It is not the circumstances of one's birth that are relevant. It's what you do with the gift of life that determines its value. Okay. I can't believe that came from Pokemon, of all things. I don't know. <laughs> um, what would you say you rebel against? Uh, prejudice. Any sort of prejudice. Racism, homophobia, any of that nonsense. Like, everyone ought to live their life as they want to. And everyone's boundaries should be limitless until they start to infringe on someone else's. Your mm -hmm. freedom ends where someone else's starts. You're free until you would make someone else less free. You can do whatever you yeah. want as long as it doesn't affect anyone else negatively. I'm and I rebel, the mind. I rebel against people trying to have people work their way if it doesn't affect them. Like, if you see two men kissing on the streets, you just leave them alone. Let them have fun. Fuck off. Sorry. Yeah. How, how hard is that? Just, if you don't like it, turn away and walk around. Doesn't, doesn't really affect you, does it? 
Exactly, Jay. Jay, you're a genius. It's the main reason I wanted to learn art. My parents told me that the good artists were born with some kind of sense for it, but I completely disagree. So I'm going to do art to disprove that. Yeah, no, that's, that's fair. And, to, and because you enjoy it. Yeah, that's fine. Do it. Go for it. Do it. I want to see your I art. Agree. I agree. Talent, talent is not necessary in any sort of... Like, there isn't a lot of things where you actually need talent. Hard talent work comes with practice. Yeah, hard work outscales talent. 100%. Like if, if someone learns something twice as fast as you, but you input four times the effort, you still grow twice as fast as them. Talent is a help. It's not a given, like, great factor of greatness. Training is so much more important. And if you like something, putting in the effort shouldn't be that difficult. Yeah, if you really like it, you and you actually take the time to practice and work yeah. on your skills, you're going to see a lot of improvement. Don't get discouraged because you quote unquote don't have talent. Just work on it if you like it. You're you're amazing. You you're gonna wait, make your own path. When you're born with a handicap, but you get better anyways. Biggest win. Exactly. Everybody loves a good underdog story. Mm -hmm. Nobody 100%. was born to do anything. We learn how to do everything. Yeah, exactly. We were born to die. That's the only thing we're born to. Yeah. So enjoy the time you got. Exactly. Uh, what uh, do you wish was illegal? Talent? Wait a second. Comment? That doesn't remind what? me of something I do hate, though. Talent so often gets overcredited. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of people contribute my dad to being the, a decent artist now. We don't even use the same art media. I got my own style due to practice. I did by myself. My father being an artist has nothing to do with that. Exactly. Yeah. You're an amazing artist. You're just both amazing artists. It's not like you were born with paint running through your veins. Like, you just practiced and you got good at what you like. And that's cool. And I hate when people say that or like, oh, it wasn't as hard for you because your dad was already an artist. No, that's not true. You still put in the work and you still deserve to be credited for your own work. Mm hmm. 100%. So, what do you wish was illegal? I would say homophobia, but homophobia is illegal where I live. So. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just gonna say chatting shit behind people's back. Like, please grow a parent, tell them how you feel. Like, everyone deserves to get the chance to make up their, make, make amends for their mistakes, or at least be aware of them. And honestly, if you don't want to tell someone how you feel of them, do, are you really confident that you're in the right? Like, if I'm in the right, if I think someone behaves like an asshole, I'm gonna tell them and I'm not shying away from that because... I know that they are, and I know I'm right, and I'm not wrong. I'm, I'm not, like, scared of telling the truth. So, like, I just hate when people chat behind people's backs. It's like, if you want something to change, you're going to have to address the issue. Change it yourself, or talk to the person that can change it. You can't just sit there and, like, complain about things being bad and not doing anything to change them. Yeah, and then expecting them to get better. Like... Expecting them to get better without actually putting in any work to do anything, really? It gets silly. Yeah, I get your point as well, Jay. Um, actually, the reason I don't vote is because I'm leaving this country. Like, I don't intend on living here for much longer than four or five years, so I'm not going to vote because the future of this country doesn't affect me. I think it's unfair of me to vote for a country I'm not going to live anymore. Pardon me? Uh, I'm not going to live in this country anymore when the laws get enforced. So I shouldn't have the right to vote on them. That's why I don't vote. I guess I can understand that, yeah. I'm it's personally like, I'm, of the I'm opinion you want... I would want to um, try to make the best improvement I can for the place I'm in. Whether or not it's going to be affecting me long term, short term, or not at all. Because it'll still have an effect on other people. Yeah, but like those people can choose themselves. I'm not going to choose the best for other people. I Fair cannot enough. make that decision. Because even if I think it's like a good decision to vote for a certain party, um, 
I'm not going to vote for them if I'm leaving this country because other people might disagree. And if my vote is the deciding factor for those for that party to get legislation, it's just unfair towards the people that voted against it that still get affected by my choice that doesn't affect me. Because I affected their lives in ways they didn't want, despite me not having any reason for it to do so. It would just be me being... It, it feels like by proxy forcing my opinion on others if I vote in a country I don't want to live in. Fair enough. Too much of the world is decided, but that won't even be... Yeah, no, that is... Just, That's true. It's just... It's just because of how uh, the world thinks. You know how hard it was? Like, you know how much shit I had to deal with when I got into the position I'm in? Like, oh, what do you know about business? You're only 20 years old, blah, blah, blah. How can you manage people that have more experience than you? Well, apparently I am capable because I wouldn't have this position if I wasn't. Just fucking stop looking at my age. Right? My, my company wouldn't price the pay my price tag if I wasn't worth it. Like, it's so stupid. Some people just got too much pride. Yeah, no, like, I respect people, but I don't respect them based on their age. Like, I respect every person equally. And if someone is 20 years old and they're a manager, I think they deserve the same respect as a 65-year-old manager. I There's agree with that. But, yeah, no, that's just my opinion. Uh, what's the weirdest way you've met somebody? Uh, that's a tough one. It uh, is. What, I, I, I would say one of my VTuber friends, because they literally, like, they saw that I had, like, a pride flag, like, the, the lesbian pride flag in my profile. So they, like, messaged me about it and asked me if I wanted to join a VTube server but with, like, a bunch of lesbians. And I was like, yeah, sure. And, like... <laughs> I would just who would like, say no to that? Yeah, exactly. Who would say no to meeting lesbians, bro? But yeah, no, seriously, it's like that is weird, I guess, in a way, but in a good way. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's very good. funny and positive, but it's like that is definitely the weirdest thing. <laughs> <laughs> ah. uh, what's lesbians the most? Are based? Yeah, we are. Yeah, lesbians are based. Um, I'm. Sorry? I'm not a lesbian. I'm an ally. I'm bisexual. <laughs> What's the most amazing well, natural occurrence you've witnessed? Uh, gee, geez, that's a bit interesting. Um, I don't think there were, were too many interesting ones. I just remember vividly having a lightning strike hit pretty close to me when I was a kid, but I don't know how accurate that is. Like, memories are very foggy. That All would still be pretty foggy. spooky. Yeah. I just remember the lightning strike. I don't know how close it was. Like, in memory, it feels like it was five meters. But, like, again, children exaggerate memories. Memories fade over time, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It was close enough to actually see it, and it looked really, really cool. And, yeah, but outside of that, I can't really think of anything. Every Fair sexual enough. is based, and asexuals are based. Everybody is based. True. People are based. True, true, true. Having your own sexual identity that you're happy and content with is also based. Exactly. Gen uh, you have gender identity, you're based. Your agenda, you're based. Every person's based. Let's go. I've got agender friends. I don't. I don't think. If so, they've never told me. It might just not be an issue to them. Who knows? Would you ever yeah. try space tourism if given the chance? God, no. No? No. Uh, I, I don't know. Like, traveling around... I don't travel around on Earth. I don't care. I travel for... I don't travel for the sake of traveling. I travel to get to certain locations I care about, like events, concerts, meetings, uh, whatever. But I don't travel around just to look at stuff, and that's what space would be. You would fly around, low gravity, you would look at stupid planets, I can look at on pictures, I don't care. Like, ooh, great, I don't care. Also, the bloody... Like, it's so bad for the environment, like, sh shooting a bloody rocket into space is just so bloody wasteful. Well, I don't think it's worth it. Honestly, Sorry. I would give it at least one try, assuming we had better technology for 
getting stuff what? into the atmosphere. Because hey, hey, I would hey, die hey. to see the uh, stars from outside our atmosphere. Have you seen them care. from outside of the city? They look amazing. I have but I mean, outside of the city. it right, wouldn't be. Outside of the city. Okay, fair enough. But for no, me, it wouldn't be so something right. that I would want to regularly do. I'd want the experience oh, yeah. at least once. Yeah, that's fair. But yeah. Makina is also dreaming of going into space. And nearly, uh, wow, really, this sci fi super fan wants to go to space. Oh my god, I could have never bloody guessed. Uh, but yeah, no, that's cool. I don't, like, if, the, let's say, like, there's a colony on Mars in, like, 20, 30 years, and, like, they have a really cool Mars tourism program. Yes, I want to go there. But as long as there's nothing of interest for me to do in space, I don't want to go there. Fair enough. I'm a bit of a sci-fi nerd, so... Oh, uh, fair enough. Uh, Eno says, space tourism is the exact same thing as yachts. Why the hell would you want to do that to yourself? Yachts are based. Like, cruises are based, though. Like, cruises are really based. I'd go to huh? space in a heartbeat, send me up there without anything. I'll happily just travel for space. A space elevator would be neat if I didn't have the fear of heights. Oh, yeah, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> that would fair be enough, pretty yeah. freaky to go all the way up past the atmosphere in an elevator. Hey, if they have good music, if they play Never Gonna Give You Up all the way up there, sign me up. Murder boats count you out? Okay, more for us. Murder boats count me out. Murder boats? What? I'll probably make fun of how a lot of Houses go missing on yachts. Ah, uh, yeah, fair enough. Thalassophobia. Ah, uh, yeah, fair enough. What is thalassophobia? I don't, I don't I, think I've heard that one before. Um, context clues tell me it has either to do with boats, water, or people. Or all the above. Or all of them. <laughs> I don't uh, know, I'm afraid of... I'm afraid of water. Oh, fear, fear of the, the ocean. ocean. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I do fear deep waters. But only if I'm in them personally. I don't fear being on a boat. I don't know, I just trust engineers and stuff like that. I have massive trust into people who do things professionally. We haven't yet, explored 70% of the Earth, but isn't that all ocean to explore? Yeah, exactly. That's what uh, that's what Jay means. Yeah, got a bunch of ocean uh, to explore, and that isn't that higher pressures than dealing with space. Space yeah. is the hard part about getting stuff into the at or outside of our atmosphere, and then the ocean floors is about withstanding multiple atmospheres of pressure. Yeah, the ocean floors are disgusting. Uh, yeah. What would you... Uh, yeah. Did you want to... Yeah. Uh, what do you on? resent paying for the most? Uh, poor service. I'm willing to pay a ton of money for products and services I enjoy. Like, if I commission an artist and we get along, I'm going to throw money their way. Like, I don't care. Like, take a tip, whatever. I'm willing to pay a ton of money for good service, but the, but the opposite is true for bad service. If you don't know proper business etiquette, if you don't know how to talk to people, if you don't know how to sell your product, if you don't have faith in your product, I'm not willing to pay a lot of money. And there's just some essential products you still need to buy, despite the service being horrible, and, like, I hate that. I don't want to support the bad business because I have to. Yeah, like, I can agree with that. I'm ready to pay three times the price if, for the same product if I just get better service. I don't care. Fair enough. Which Every workers would you... Hmm? Sorry, I'm just reading chat. Every no, go ahead. Space is already in the ocean, including abstract Albridge creatures to meet. Fair enough. I'm pretty sure the deepest we've gone in is like in the 1970s and it stopped because the window on the submarine cracked. That's a while back, yeah. I don't uh, believe it if I see it. I thought James Cameron went to the bottom of the Marianas Trench. I he did know. like a documentary on it. And his wife still called him down there. I don't know. Worth looking into, at least. Yeah, I don't know much about exploration. I don't really care about all, any of that. 
Also, Coffee Alex, you should look up, uh, what was it called? The Black Dragonfish? Those things are freaky as hell. A lot of deep sea creatures are very freaky. Very yeah, like out of any of the deep sea creatures. Yeah, I mean, they have to withstand the pressure. Mm-hmm. So it makes sense that their bodies work differently. Yes, but I want Cthulhu. Fair enough. You want that big tentacle daddy. I mean, I do too. Your pardon? I'm not into tentacles. <laughs> uh, teach their own. Which yeah, workers would big... you say have the worst jobs? I prefer big boobas. Over tentacles any day. Fair enough. Who doesn't want what? Machina. <laughs> Everybody's into tentacles here. Oh my god. Chat's okay, learning enough. about you. You're learning about chat. This is wonderful. Uh, they're asking for you. Uh, go get your back. I guess no <laughs> common in big booba tentacle mommies. What can I say? I'm a freak. No, you're lovely. I love you, monkey. No, you're cute. <laughs> um, people about to throw themselves at you. Well, your DMs sorry, might uh, get a little more busy. Mm -hmm. uh, also, look up Phantom Jellyfish. Those things are cool. I will later. But, you yeah, know, which workers have the worst job? Um, honestly, like, this is like an answer you probably will never get to this topic. But I genuinely believe doctors have the worst job. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they have, like, nice pay, and, like, it seems like they're all well respected on the surface. But holy hell did I learn that to be untrue when I was in med school. Like, patients verbally degrade doctors on a daily basis. Like, they treat them like crap, and it's overall just a nightmare. Like, doctors carry our society on, on their shoulders, and I hate having people tell them that, oh, well, they get enough money, so that should be fine, they should be happy. Like, the money they get is by far not enough to justify the requirements they have to become doctors, the work hours they have to do to stay doctors, and all of the other thing. They have to constantly learn. Like, they just can't, they can't just leave uni and never learn about medicine ever again. No, it's they gotta stupid. constantly update their, yeah. um, knowledge. Like, it takes so Yeah, exactly. I get paid more than any doctor I know. And I don't have to deal with any of that shit. Yeah, like, it is messed up. Yeah, no, uh, the entry, like, I think, like, 4K is what I would have earned as a doctor after uni, when I freshly would have entered the hospital. But, like, that is less than I have now, and I don't have to deal with patients being assholes. <laughs> I don't have to deal with people googling for five seconds and thinking they're more intelligent than me. I don't have to deal with any of that. I don't have to deal with people calling me a bad person because they want to vaccinate them. Like, I don't have to deal with any of that crap. Like, no, don't become a doctor if you want to be treated nicely. And that's what I don't like. Doctors, like, go out of their way to help people. And despite being mistreated, they still do it. Like, yeah, doctors, doctors are, are a different breed and they deserve to be treated better. They're a different breed of absolute beasts when it comes to social being social. Like, it's ridiculous. I couldn't do it. I genuinely, I dropped out of med school because I couldn't live that life. I wouldn't have the fabric to be able to withstand that. I would have quit after a year. So I just quit med school because I was like, I can't work in the field. I like the subject. I like medicine. I like learning medicine. And I would have liked helping good people. But I would have not enjoyed helping people that treat me like shit. And yeah. that's why I left. I just didn't want to take that. Yeah, it sounds like know. that was not the right career choice for you. It wasn't. That's why I quit. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not sad about that. And I don't think dropping out of uni is a bad thing. If you don't enjoy what you're doing, drop out. If you can't afford it, obviously. Yeah, that's what I did. I was doing uh, game design in college. But it was too yeah. pricey, and I did not want to end up working for big companies. Because there was no way I was going to get my own indie studio off the ground. That is horrible. Yeah, well, so now I'm in construction. Uni's free where I live. Oh, lucky. 
I have to take student school, loans out. Yeah, med school is a bit of a different breed, though, because it's a very popular. It's very popular. Like a lot of people want to make, uh, become doctors, and because we don't have a great average to en enter med school, because like even like I had an average of like C or B minus. Like I had a very bad grade average because I never cared about classes. So yeah, you just have an entry exam where like you have a thousand people attending, but only like they they only take like the eighty best or like the hundred best people every year. So like ninety percent of the people that apply for med school actually get don't get into it. It's ridiculous. Which is kind of sad because it took someone's spot who could have finished it. Ooh. <laughs> Which is very annoying, actually. Like, it annoys me. Because I took someone's spot that probably wanted to do it more than me. I kind of feel you bad about You never know that about that one. Well, no, because it always seems like doctors are respected. And they are. The concept of a doctor is respected. Just the people that are doctors aren't. Yeah. The concept of a doctor is respected because everybody knows how hard they work. But the microsecond they have to deal with a doctor, they kind of forget that. Some people just shut that part of the brain off without realizing it. Exactly. And when I realized that, I was like, yeah, no, I'm not going to deal with that. Have fun. I totally get that. But I have run out of any of my questions, so we I guess we could open up the questions to chat, if any of them, or if you're willing. Yeah, sure. Hit me with how many questions you have. Besides that, you said you had a collab going on after this? Uh, yeah. What you got I going do. on? Uh, I'm going to play Phasmophobia with Makina. Oh, another Phasmophobia player. I am yeah. i don't personally have it, but I've got friends that have it that want me to get it. But I'm a bitch when it comes to horror. I get, I get scared. I like that, sleeping. It's, it's actually not that scary of a game. I've actually been watching some streams of my friends, and it's like, oh. It's, it's, it's not, not scary. that scary, huh? It's it got the occasional really jump scare, maybe. But I have it's, not it's, seen one yet. Like, being... It doesn't have jump scares. No jump scares at all? Uh, it has, like, sounds and stuff, and, like, sure, the, the ghost sometimes breathes in your neck, but it doesn't have the typical jumps in your face jump scare. It's just oh, okay. the atmosphere makes it scary, like, when you have a lot of equipment and you lose it when you die, so you are scared to die, but it's when a challenge sends. It's not really that scary. Oh, it's just okay, a really that, good, it's that's a, it's more just, of my really good. It's just a really good detective game, because you have to, like, find clues, then, like, there, it's very deep. Like, every ghost has, like, different kind of habits. And, like, the game doesn't tell you about that. So, like, if you play a thousand rounds, you re start realizing, oh, wait, this ghost does that more often than others. And you start to, like, realize more what ghost you're up against without actually having the game telling you. And it's like, there's so much you can learn in the game. It's just a really good detective game. That's how I see it. It's just so, so fun. Did you know Did Lucy you... is a top, right? So we are both tops. It's top right. I know you mean top, but do you mean I'm in the top right? I like, think it's supposed there's... to be top, comma, right. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. No, no, no. Uh, top, top right. right. Uh, okay, I know what, what she means. Um... I, I am used, confused. I, I did a yeah, I did a alignment chart, a BDSM alignment chart. Oh, okay. Uh, for for people that sent me a PNG, and the top right was um, the top right was lenient dominant. What the hell do you mean? Because like top was like obvious, uh, like top was top, and right was lenient, and left was demanding. So, like, a top right would be a lenient dom. So, a dom that tells you what to do, but if you, like, are a brat, they let you get away with it. That would be a top right, which is totally not the opposite. That's totally the op I, I like a top left, definitely. Oh, you're more of a hard dom? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Top left. Ah, uh, top right, my ass. Ah. 
But yeah. Really, Chad? No other questions? I mean, that's fine. I mean, I did talk. I, I'm pretty sure they're just scared of me, like, opening the, the <laughs> fucking book again and reading for half a year. Yeah, they hear hard top and they're like, oh, we don't want to piss mommy off. You better not piss mommy off. I'll lock you in a cage. Ooh, cage play. Yeah, cages are cool. They can be quite fun. <laughs> uh, oh, and, oh, so Jay, you're more mo so you're starting to moderate my stream rather than chat? Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> Wait, aren't mods supposed to be there to bully the streamer? How complicated is your family tree? Complicated? In what sense? In parts, it's a circle for mine. Oh, that sounds, um, interesting. Not really, there weren't a big dating pool. Ah, uh, fair enough. Like, <laughs> a circle? Oh. Yeah, that, that implies inbreeding in, in my family tree. But like, I mean, everybody's has that, if, if you go far back enough. Yeah, exactly. Input the fact that I was related to the Habsburgers, who are famously known for it. So I have that in my tree as well. I don't think I have a VTuber family, but I do have some VTuber friends I'm getting to know. I don't think Lucy has VTuber family yet. I would call you and the bomb and my family, Ubu. You could call your community your family, since you're interacting with them so much. Yeah, that as well. But that's not a VTuber family, because most of them aren't VTubers. Yeah, that's fair. Ignore my name, we're not family anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Savage, Jay. Jay? Friend. Uh, what a great guy. It's just Jay. <laughs> or Joy. I, I called him Joy yesterday by accident. <laughs> it's just Jay to you. Uh, <sighs> Joy. Oh, come back. <laughs> the 90% of Frisian descendants, I'm apparently connected back to Queen Elizabeth. That's cool. Queen Elizabeth the first, even. Wow. I don't know how many Queen Elizabeth there have been, but that sounds cool. Personally, I think too many. Fun fact, I'm horrible at politics. Can you repeat that? I missed that. What? Uh, fun fact. I am horrible at politics. Oh, that's what you said. Okay. Ace isn't here, though, sleeping on the job. Uh, what can yes, you do? Ace. Oh, they're yeah. in a little mod VC. They're conspiring yeah. against you. They are. They always are. They're trying to overthrow me. Aside from my chat powerful. saying we pretty much covered all the topics, they're not sure what to ask. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any questions in my chat, which makes sense considering that, like... They I do know you pretty well. Yeah, I do talk quite... I, I answer questions on stream all the time, so it makes sense that my chat doesn't have too many questions. What's the best kind of rice? Um, um, is it called jasmine rice? I was just about to say jasmine. I think it's jasmine. I think that's my preferred one, but I mean, I don't really check. I just buy the cheap stuff because, you know, low income. What do you look like without the crown? Is there something hidden? Pretty yeah. Jemin? Maybe it's Jemin in English. Uh, in German, it reads Yasmin. Sushi and rice. <laughs> sushi rice is really cool. Yeah, that sticky rice, that's real nice to have. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like rolling yeah, sushi, like, it's nice for a uh, teriyaki bowl. What do you look like without the crown? Uh, I, have, I have a huge fucking L on my forehead that I'm hiding. Fun fact, I don't. <laughs> don't know how to cook? Just takes practice. I mean, yeah. 
Cooking is actually one of the first skills I learned when I got my own apartment because it just saves so much time, uh, so much money. It really does. To be fair, Lucy doesn't know how to cook. Shut up! I know how to cook. <laughs> Good times. He's, he's he's memeing me because I nearly died because I melted a bloody um peanut rice. I've never heard of that. Peanut rice, also brown rice. Brown rice is cool, okay? I agree with brown rice. Um, yeah, no, I melt. I had, like, a plastic cutting board on one of my stoves, accidentally turned on the stove and melted the cutting board, which led to my kitchen being infested with plastic gas, which is very toxic to inhale, so I nearly died. So, like, yeah, that was funny. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so that's the joke now that I can't cook. Oh, okay. I get that now. Peanut, Peanut rice is South Asian? Cooking. Peanut rice is South Asian rice. It's kind of the joke. I can't cook! <laughs> Chat just being bullies. It's like, oh, I don't mod. do it a lot. I don't do it a lot because cooking for one person is just tedious. It really is. Okay, Kobo. Okay, 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 okay. Can you see, explain how to do Nasi Goreng? <laughs> you guys are... <laughs> I don't even know what Nasi Goreng is. I can't I say that I know is. that it's one like either. Dish. I know, it's a dish. It's like a... But I don't know if it's like a noodle dish. I think it's a noodle dish. I don't, I don't know. Jay's going to tear me apart for that one. Watch him. <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to tear me apart for Miss... Misinterpreting Nazi Goreng. But yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any questions on my end. No, so I guess it's time to start wrapping things up. Do you want to go over uh, your intro a little again as a little reminder for the end of the video? I mean, sure, again. Yeah, um, again, I'm Lucy Lightbringer. I'm a variety streamer. I stream daily on Twitch which is literally Lucy Lightbringer VT. And yeah, I stream everything from horror games to collabs to community games, which I do off stream as well. For example, every couple of days we play Jackbox in my server, which is not recorded, not streamed. It's just us hanging out as community, which is what I do a lot. I interact with my community off stream as well because it takes that to community build. I don't stream enough to interact with people on stream. So I do it off stream. It's just that simple, really. Fair enough. All Lucy's links are going to be included in the description as well. So, thank you for coming on. This has been a pleasure oh, to yeah. talk with you. I think Bami Goreng was the noodle version. Oh, yeah. Nazi means rice. Goreng means fried. So, fried rice. Okay. That is something I actually have cooked before. I have made fried noodles before. I like fried noodles. I have trouble with those personally. Just ingredient plus goreng, yeah. Fair enough. I mean, yeah, that's fair enough. Why, why don't you? I mean, it's not German that has to invent the word for everything. I mean, German is ridiculous. It is a beautiful language, though. What? <laughs> Okay, I okay, kid. Okay, 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 okay. Um, you know, opinions can't be wrong, but that's a pretty fucking wrong opinion. <laughs> uh, I just love shit posting. <laughs> shit posting in voice. I have a problem make chicken nuggets. Well, you start with preheating the oven, and then once the oven's preheated, you put them in for like fifteen minutes. You flip them, and then you put them in for another 15, and you got nuggies. Uh, base people eat them frozen. What? Most, most food has pan and fried. Well, good to see that the food is progressive enough to be pan. I'm proud of its journey. Uh, hi, Tadex, how are you doing? <laughs> Well, I 
Yeah, so any more questions for me? You the banana? Wait. It made, it made me actually sad. Barbecued a banana? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Did you eat it though? I hope you ate it. Imagine making frozen nuggies. Sai, you're rude. That's how I make my nuggies. Couldn't be you. <laughs> Me either. Me either. Uh. His son Garang is like deep fried banana. She wrapped the banana in thin foil and threw it on a barbecue. Oh. Okay then. Interesting. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. Hope you ate it. <laughs> Imagine if you're deep frying a banana, you'd actually want to freeze it, wouldn't you? I don't know. Because I know I that's know how you got to do probably, deep fried yeah. ice cream. Most likely, yeah. Because I don't even know about just, the world of deep frying. I'm just close to America, so I hear about it a lot. I, I don't know. I'm not too much into deep frying stuff. Yeah, I prefer pan-fried stuff, fried stuff is, or grilled. Deep-frying stuff is like making food taste better in exchange for like, your life span. Worth. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> but you're cooking with your life force at that point. You fry it in a pan with oil. Ah, uh, fair enough. But it's not like making fries? I've made pan fries before, so those are nice. Like where you slice up a potato nice and thin, fry it in some oil, and they essentially turn into chips. Yeah, don't get me started on potatoes. Okay, then. I hate potatoes. Wait, you make frozen nuggies from scratch, Sai? Wow. Do you, well, you take a grind it up chop yourself? It up, you form it into... Oh, chop up the chicken into chunks and then, like, put it in mm -hmm. a kind of batter or something, coating. Also, I, th I think you skipped the question from the form you sent me. You, you, you skipped the one about the food. Like, the, the food that I like that a lot of people don't. I thought I had covered that one. I don't know. Did I tell you that I like fried tarantula? I think you would what? remember that one. I would remember that answer, but I'm pretty yeah, sure I did ask me. that. Huh. I guess I, I'm misremembering it. That's the answer I wrote down, so I would have said it. <laughs> Partridge, check. thank you. But yeah, no, I left fried, fried tarantula. I've never even considered that. It's like, um, so you, it's actually really easy to prepare. You just take a tarantula break off the teeth with like pliers then you burn off the heat hair then you coat it in batter and you throw it in the fryer bada bing bada bam you fry tarantula huh. and yeah they taste like who would have guessed crab crab they taste one yep yeah, they're both arthropods after all huh I they knew they exactly were just like sea crabs. bugs. They are. They are very closely related to crabs. And they taste like they are. The best thing about them is you, you don't have to peel them like you have crabs. Like you genuinely just take the entire thing and bite into it. Yeah, I guess because their exoskeleton's not as strong as like actual crabs because they don't have to deal with exactly. the pressure of water. Mm -hmm. So you just munch them and they taste like crabs. Huh. That's pretty super interesting. Expensive. They're just super expensive. Oh, I would because bet. Not, not because they're like expensive to make, but because of how low the demand is and nobody does it. But like, getting tarantula babies is very easy. They don't take a lot of effort to grow up either. But so there's not a lot of people, people that actually want to raise a bunch of tarantulas. Exactly. No, there's a lot of people who have a lot of tarantulas, but not a lot of people are willing to eat them. Mm. 
even though like, if you like crab, you will like tarantula. Which is why I advocate for it so much. Because Fair I enough. want it to become popular. I want it to, be, to become popular so it becomes affordable. That is totally fair. Food should because definitely be affordable. Amazing. And honestly, yeah. bugs, yeah, insects, arachnids good. are a good source of protein without putting a ton of CO2 into the air like beef does. Yeah, because they're actually super easy to grow up. Mm -hmm. they, they don't take a lot of food. They're very energy efficient because they're cold-blooded. Yeah, they really are. You just give them food like every couple of days and they're like happy. Pretty much, yeah. And they grow pretty fast. <laughs> and they have a ton of babies and like you just, you know, they're pretty chill. Griffin says, I always wanted to have a tarantula pet, so this is hurting me. But yeah, I've heard them being, I've heard of them being served as food. I heard a lot of bugs are actually tasty if cooked in a certain way. I'd try. Yeah, scorpions no, as well. Are, scorpions taste like arthropods. They're arthropods. Like anything with eight legs basically tastes the same. I didn't know that actually. Huh. It's like how most fish has similar taste. Mm, like makes the sense. The closest species, are, the, the closest species are related. The similar just they taste because they're made up of more of the same. Scorpion lollipops are fine, and fried crickets are great. Yeah, all of these things are fine. Fried crickets are really cool. Uh, because you just fry them, and then you just dunk them into some sauce you like, and they're amazing. They're amazing finger food. You're cool, Goose approved. I agree. Lucy is pretty cool. I don't know if, she, uh, if Goose talked about me or you. I don't know either, but they're in your chat, so I'm just going to throw that compliment towards you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Both. <laughs> Both? Awesome. Glad to hear it. Uh, but yeah, that is all I wanted to say. I just wanted to circle back to the question because I've been anticipating that one for a while. Because I'm very passionate about fried tarantula. Fair enough, fair enough. Because I know I do tend to skip questions that I feel we have gone over, but... I don't. I didn't think I had forgotten that one, but clearly I did. Because of how much I talked. <laughs> What's your favorite Indonesian party snack? You. <laughs> Sweetheart. Take that. <laughs> Oi. Okay, I guess I should be booping off. We've been going for an hour and a half now. That's about the average I do for an interview these days. <laughs> yeah. No, it was lovely. Definitely lovely. And are you going to be continuing streaming? Probably. Just going all the way until your next collab? I'm going to guess that's in a little over two hours? Uh, No, in 20 minutes. Oh, it's going on in 20 minutes? Yup. I think. Magina, can you confirm that for me? Should be. Well, I can definitely bring my massive audience over to you. My whole uh, sure three viewers. Hang. Pardon? If they want to hang. I know there's at least a couple out? here that like phasmophobia. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, Shadex, I'm sorry about that. The sound alert isn't... I haven't set that up for OBS yet, I'm sorry. Oh, no. The sound alerts are fun. Going to do that. Yeah, I'm actually going to do that now. Alrighty, get to that. I will just I'm be doing my outro that. and bringing over the raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll certainly talk again. Yo, hopefully. Take uh, care. You too. Disconnect from that. Seriously, she was a lot of fun to talk to.